In this video, I am going to finally, after months and months and months, review the inks, Mar the Marabu inks, Marabu inks, Kriya box inks I got in a kit from Littles, like I said, months and months and months ago. I don't remember when I first got it. I'll put the link to the unboxing video above and below because like I said it was quite a long time ago. <laughs> but so yeah, the set came with I don't know what five inks I think it was, but. I'm just testing the unboxing video, <laughs> but anyway, so I decided just to do a, not a Capricorn, because it's, it's a, it's a hippogriff? No, because no, it's not, it's not a hippogriff, because it doesn't have a tail, it's just a unicorn, that's right, it's just a unicorn, mm, ugh, I forgot, but anyway, so, inks, now, I wish I had, I had, uh, when you get, they get like a reddish magenta color, a couple blues, yellow, so you could make colors with them, but it, the color choice is uh, not the best, but you know, you, you work with what you got. So like I said, two blues, and the blues actually, when I come to them, you'll see there's really not a huge difference between them. One's a little darker, but it's not horribly darker, so really you could have switched one of the blues out for another color, because they're extremely close together. Once more, I got a bit of purple kind of tone to it. Or, is it purple? I don't know. It's a little darker. The other one, they're so close, it's really hard to tell the difference between them. But, <laughs> the yellow, which is, it looks kind of orange here, is not this is that color. It's like a bright yellow. And needed at least two coats because the first coat was kind of patchy. Most of these inks needed two coats, so they're a little opaque. They're. Not opaque, a little transparent. It's not opaque, they're not opaque. They're transparent, which a lot of inks are, obviously, because, you know, the nature of what they are. But the yellow definitely needed two coats. It was a bit patchy. This magenta kind of color, it would have been fine on its own, but needed to have a couple coats just to make it all even because it did was kind of patchy. But it looks like blood sitting there because my lights are reflecting off of it. I need to fix that somehow. Can I move them? I can't move them. They're all... The lights are un unmovable. So maybe I'll try to film during the day when it's not direct light. Even though the lights are quite bright, they'll let me draw. But yeah, so I decided to add a bit of that blue to it. They kind of tried to give it a bit of shading. And they did blend okay. But... Like I said... The blues, you could use either of them. And I'm trying to move things around here. I don't know why. Oh, I'm trying to get things to look okay. But the colors are not 100% like I mentioned before on this because, and I spent a lot of time trying to get them to go right, but they didn't. So I'm gonna have to fiddle with the camera because it really didn't look right. The yellow is brighter than this. The magenta is more magenta-ish looking <laughs> than really looking like blood, you know, but and adding the blue didn't help. <laughs> not, not that people bleed blue, but you know, it didn't help the look of it. But it's trying to get shadow. Now, I drew this piece because I was like, hey, yeah, it's just a simple kind of piece and it works with the inks. And I'll use a glass pen, which I do, do, which I do later use with the black to kind of outline it, which, yeah, I'll just wait and see what happens with that because <laughs> it doesn't go exactly to plan, we'll say. But the colors, they did blend together and they were easy to use. They're coming, how big are these? Uh, these are 15 milliliters. I just poured a bit into a palette because I didn't want to mix them because you mix the yellow with some color, you're never going to be able to use this pure yellow again. Which I keep moving around and I don't know why because you can't freaking see that. And you should put like another camera on. We've got a camera or phones that we could use and then people can see and laugh at me. But <laughs> you can see it kind of just sat there, the blue. So I kind of had to blend it out a bit, but it, it worked. It did blend all right, but the red, red magenta did need, like I said, a couple different coats to to be not patchy. Now I'm using the wrong brush for this. It's an angled brush, and it's one I had, and it did work. But I probably should have used a straight brush. It might have worked a little bit better, like a square brush. I don't know the names of brushes. I, I've been painting for. 30 plus years and I still don't know the names of brushes. I really don't. I know what brushes to use for different mediums, but what exactly the shapes are called, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> because I don't really care. I use whatever I have, really. 
and you know the shape doesn't matter well sometimes it would matter I guess if in this case it kind of mattered the angle of this did help but we're not reviewing brushes here we're reviewing inks but yeah so they worked okay that's that's what I'm saying they worked okay <laughs> that's my review they're okay no they are okay inks really for less than a fiver I can't remember how much they were they wouldn't have been that expensive to for, for ink and the colors do work they're quite like vibrant they look a little dull here but they are quite vibrant and easy to use I'm trying to think what else I can review they're, they don't smell I don't think they smell let's see open this up and try not to get it over myself because it's yellow and it'll wreck everything around me they smell like ink <laughs> that's what they do they smell like ink they do stain they're water based but they will stain certain things if you are not careful with them <laughs> obviously but and I mean I still think I still have black ink. Do I have any black ink left in my hands? No, I finally got the ink off, you know, a couple days later and it's gone. It got everywhere, which you'll see, like I said, later what happened. But so yeah, under a fiver, definitely worth it. Now you get a lot of cheap art supplies at Littles and sometimes they're eh. Other times they work okay. Um inks anything by Marabou is hit or miss, but generally they're okay. You know, they are okay. You're, you're paying, you know, maybe three, four, five quid for something that is probably meant just for like kids and teenagers to mess around with. But it does actually work if you need to do something with it. Would I call it professional? No, but probably at least student grade. I would say I would say that it's at least student grade stuff, which you know will work. You don't need the more expensive shit to make art. You really don't. It can help. But in this case, it doesn't matter. It's ink, and it does what it does, or should do, I should say. And it's like I said, the two blues could have done without two blues. I'm trying to think what other color you could have. You got the two blues, you got the magenta, and the yellow. I guess I could have given you a green, even though you could make green. But sometimes it's just easier if it's already made, you know. Or even a white. A white would have been nice. Like an opaque white would have been really nice, but that probably would have cost more money to make it opaque. <laughs> but, I mean, I could just use a gel pen and stuff like that. But, or bring out some gouache. Um, which, I do actually bought some, like, the Artex gouache stuff to try because gouache and me are enemy enemies. And I really would like to learn how to use it properly because I like the way it, lo it looks. But it's, I've never been able to use it properly. Give me oil, she had no problem. Acrylics, she had no problem. You know, watercolor, not so much. Gouache. Maybe that's why I have problems with gouache because it's so related to watercolor. Anyway, back to the review. <laughs> I forgot where I left off. Oh yeah, less than a fiber. Pretty get damn good for what you're getting. They work. You just maybe need two coats, maybe three if you want it really so. Like the yellow, I maybe could have gone over it a little bit more with the yellow, but I was just trying testing with these. This is a horrible angle. Like I really need to like set up this a bit better. You can't see what I'm doing. This is a horrible angle. There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> I gotta watch that in the future because it doesn't work. I need to move my drawing board closer or move the camera closer to the drawing board so not so I've got more space. But anyway, these blues. You can't see here. These are actually two different the blue I use for the shadow and the blue I'm using on the tail, they're two different blues. Like I said, they just don't really look very different. They really don't. It's quite frustrating. So I thought we'll just give him a bit of blue on the tail and his hair and you know, it just to kind of give it, and keep some of it white because I just thought, well, you know, there's enough color on it. I just wanted block colors just to get an idea, like I said, how the ink works together. And my hand is really shaky. You can really tell in some places, which is why I don't paint a lot because I get paint everywhere. But drawing not a problem because you don't get, you know, you're, it's a pencil. <laughs> but inks, they tend to go out of the line. Markers, it's hit or miss on the day. But, <laughs> but yeah, so now the colors. They work, they're vibrant, the inks... I'm running out of things to say. Really do. You know, the blues, like I said, it kind of works. And the blue actually didn't need a second coat. The blues would have been fine, which that's Hubby's computer saying, hey, I didn't finish doing something, and it'll probably go off again because he's uploading photos. But that's okay. Be like, did you? Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, the blues... Yeah. And see, you can see I kind of the green, the, the, you know, the yellow went over the yellow, but that's okay. Now here, um, see, you can see I did the outline with the glass pen there, with black, and that worked pretty well actually. The ink flew, flew, flowed really well, and so it does work with like a dink, a dink, an ink pen, <laughs> like a dip pen, or 
a glass pen, you know, or you could just use a paintbrush if you really have a steady hand, I guess. But with this, it it did it didn't flow 100%, but it did flow okay. As long as you test it on a piece of paper so it doesn't blob, you have to usually sometimes do that with a dip pen, any kind of dip pen, so you don't see it blob there. So mess it up. See, you can see I put my hand in it, and this is what keeps happening. I keep forgetting where I've done this black ink, <laughs> and I end up in land getting it everywhere on my hands. And then I get frustrated and say, screw it, I am done with this. And you know, there's enough that I can review, which I kind of reviewed, and I'm horrible at reviews. I don't know why I do them, because I am horrible at them. But yeah, no, they're friend or five are definitely worth it, you know, and they work well. They do what they do, they should. They do what ink should do, cover things. <laughs> Even though, like I said, yellow, you do need a bit more. But it's, like I said, at this point, I just, Eh, I got pissed off and I was like, no, I'm good. No more of this, really. You know, I really am done with this. But this is a finish. And you can see where my hands went. Every, I got my all the black smudgy marks. That's when you get my hands, my fingers, and the side of my hands, and the black thing. And like I said, I got pissed off and was like, screw it, I'm done. You know, maybe I'll try again in the future with this, whether this was markers or more with inks or something again, or color pencil or whatever, because I was like, just getting frustrated. I'm like, screw it, I'm done. Good, I'm done with it. I've got enough for a review, which I kind of did. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, under a fiver for five inks, some sheets of paper, and I think that, I can't remember what else was in there. I think it was that was it. But worth the price. They do what they should should be doing. They're not completely opaque, obviously it's ink, but you know a couple layers kind of fixes that up. You can get the yellow quite, you know, not opaque, but it gets a nice solid color at least, which is what you need. But yeah, and the black works, as you can see, it works maybe a bit too well, because I got my hand all over it, but... <laughs> magenta. These these colors here are close to what they are, but not 100%. I meant to say that earlier, actually, but yeah. Anyway, so, thank you for listening to me horribly, again, review these inks from Marabou that I got at Littles for under a fiver. I think I think it was three quid. I don't know, three quid something, probably. I don't really remember. That was such a long time ago. I mean, it might say in the the unboxing review, but anyway, so yeah, I am done rambling about complete and utter crap as usual, like I say, and I say in every video, because I need to start writing scripts, which is never going to happen, because I just don't have the time, but yeah, so anyway, like I said, thanks for watching, listen to me ramble, like, subscribe, ring the bell thing, and all that other crap we're supposed to say, and please come back on Wednesday, maybe, hopefully, crossing my fingers, so yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm.